Hi, I'm Scurdy Kurt. I was going to have Matt do the video today. He won't do it. I'm having a bad hair day. Don't wash your hair at night and sleep on it. And <laughs> not try to water it in the morning. Anyway, hey, crazy things. But for those of you that don't know what we do, we do RV skirting. RVskirting.com is the business name, is the website. This is what we do. I like our skirts. Eight inch hems here, eight inches. It's The hem is that wide. We do double stitching all the way down and we put more stitching here because if a zipper's gonna come loose, it's gonna come loose right here. Normally, unless you hook your big truck up to the hitch and yank it like one customer did and but that's why we triple stitch our front zippers now so it'll hold up against the F-350 that he had. Yeah, sure, but hey, that's why. <laughs> Marine mate zippers made for sun and salt water. You can undo a couple of these turn buttons, fold it back like a little door, and you're into your storage. While we're up here, let's talk about this big old box. The hitch sticks out too far, so as to not make it look bad, we cover it with a box. Anytime you can cover metal on an RV, it helps it stay warm. You can still use your stand. You put your stand under there, put it all in, everything's good. We put our turn buttons every 12 inches. They're put on with two stainless steel screws. There's a myth out there that it's stainless steel turn buttons. Really? I want the company to show me that because these have brass in them. Anyway, they're marine hardware, not a problem. We make that a separate piece. We do the door into a separate piece so that you can get in here, you know, out in the wind and you're trying to put it away. You got a small piece there, small piece here. You don't have these long pieces going around and around. So there's some other people making skirting I saw the other day and I think they made like 90 foot pieces. That's okay, hey, do what you want. This is my system. We designed the system, we patented it. Don't copy us. I, you make all the skirts you want, just don't copy my design. This is my design. My copyrights. You need That's why I have PVC. You copy my stuff, I will chase you. I will holler at you to the PVC. Knock it off. We put snaps around here underneath your door. So when you walk in and out, you don't fall over the turn buttons smash your face, go laying down on the ground. So there's snaps here. This piece comes up from underneath, hooks on, and goes all in there. So, this snaps on. There's a zipper here, because this is one piece. One piece. This starts our second piece. We started over here with some turn buttons, because we have nail down straps. We've tried binding, or webbing. Webbing was supposed to last for years, it doesn't. Webbing and grommets. These are stronger than that, as you can see on our video where we did the test on our four-wheeler and nails and straps. These are very strong. Two extra layers of material around the corners here. Makes it great for, starts here, starts right there. There's two extra layers inside here. Velcro on the corner to help it hold on. Sucks it up around the corners and all that kind of good stuff. So this is one piece. Our nail down straps are a little closer than every three foot. We do that because we know you pipeliners go in the middle of nowhere, crazy land where you don't want to be, you're away from your home, and you at least like to hold down your RV in your skirt. So we put in a whole bunch of this, these uh, straps. We've been doing skirting for 20 years now. The guy that's holding the camera was two years old when he did the first skirt. He stood about that tall. Now he's holding the camera and he's, how old are you, 22? Yes, 22. 22, okay. And he, when he was two years old, he used to sit there and pull the pins out when I was done. He would pull the pins out and that was his job. He was a pin puller. Now he's gonna be a pin cushion. That's okay. So, that piece is one, it ends here. 8 inch hems, 8 inch hems, we make them big and beefy because we know you want it to last. Comes around the corner here, 
you got your back piece. I'm at a loss for words. That's okay. Anyway, we make this into another piece and all that. Come on around this way. The cows are over there and little Eli and Ashley are over there looking at the cows. That's kind of cute. So here he's got his power outlet. Power can come right out. We go over it, no problem. This piece ends here. There's 12 inches more at the bottom of our skirts so that you can be in uneven areas and it's still gonna fit. This starts the second piece. Normal slide out, two extra layers and all that kind of good stuff. Loads of straps. I mean, we're talking one, two, three, four, five, six straps. Right here. Hey, this is a zipper that we use for your sewer pipe to come out of. That's plenty of room. Here's the two extra layers for this stuff. Plenty of room for your sewer pipe to come out and all that. And then, this is another piece. Over here, we have another zipper. You ask, what's that for? This is for your water. Should you want your water hose to come out through there if you want. If not, you can run it down through or whatever. So, here is another zipper here. Once again, the number 10 YKK Marine Mate Zippers. Nobody else uses the Marine Mate Zippers. I know this. We put our tag here on the back side so your neighbors can see it. You don't have to look at it every day. You know who made your skirt. We just want your neighbors to know who made it. If you don't see the sign, you didn't get a Kurt Miller skirt. Many imitations, but if it doesn't say rvskirting.com, we didn't make it. So, we're back around the front, and then he'll take a big overall picture of the thing, back and away, getting the whole thing in the thing here this way. Okay. And you can encompass the whole thing and don't forget to read the sign on the jump a little bit. So we're gonna let you take a gander at this skirt. Okay. And that's what we do. We used to drive big beastie there. Big Beastie died, and we had pictures on there, kind of like our little photo album. We number our PVC pipe for you. There's PVC pipe that goes all in the bottom pocket, all the way around. It's all numbered. We put nails in the skirt. We nail them down for you. We also make you a map for all your PVC pipe for the whole string all the way around. So that way you know where everything goes. That way if it's not you putting up the skirt, your friends can put up the skirt, your beer drinking buddies, anybody can put up the skirt as long as they can read numbers and signs. Like, here's the front. You start with number one, you start here, go around. Your wife can do it, your friends can do it, your kids can do it. The salesman can do it that's gonna resell your RV because we know you're not gonna keep that RV forever. The skirt is valuable. Sell it with your RV. It's more valuable. It makes your RV more valuable. It will keep you warmer. You save half the propane you normally would, at least. We have seen that on paperwork. So, thanks for tuning in. We're gonna do another skirt right over there. We got a Wildwood. Let's pan over this way, cameraman. Hi. We're gonna do this Wildwood today. We're starting on that one. It's a full trailer. I don't know if you can see it from the angle you're at. Yes, you can see it just fine. <laughs> okay, so we're gonna do that one today next. We'll have that video going soon. Thank you. Awesome.